Hi everyone. I'm really excited for today's video because as you can read the title, it's about Ibis Paint Dex version 9. They have added pretty interesting features there. So I'm going to use them and review them for you guys. So first, let's talk about the canvas settings. They have added more variations to their earlier sizes. It's pretty convenient because you don't have to manually input the numbers. So that's a great point. But personally for me, it doesn't make too much difference because I am used to adding my own canvas size. Today I'm going to use full HD screen instead of HD. I always choose HD settings for myself. So let's see if the higher resolution works or it lags. If you want to know more about canvas related settings, you can check out my tutorial on that. You can find that video on the card above right now. Let's move on to the sketch and the line art part. So I made this sketch using Genius Pen and then made a proper line art out of it using Deep Pen Hard. It was based on a reference of course if you were wondering. So if you have watched my earlier videos, you would know how I usually create my line art from the reference. I measure the distance and add some red lines then draw my line art based on it. But today, I just wanted to be brave and started with nothing but just a blank page. As you can see there is no red lines on the canvas. I was actually pretty worried that it's going to turn out weird. But I am proud of myself that I did not mess up too much thanks to liquify pen. It's not exactly identical to the reference but close enough I think. I will show you the reference letter so you can compare. Anyways, back to business. Now I'm going to change the size of the line art to check out if it's pixelating like before or the quality is better. First, I'm going to change the size to smaller. But before that, I need to change the option from Normal to Langzos 3. It is actually pretty neat than earlier versions. For comparison purpose, I am going to do the same thing but with normal transition. It is clearly worse than the sharp one. Now I'm going to first make it smaller then increase its size to see what happens. It is really much better than expected. It's not exactly like the initial quality of course but it's really much better than the earlier versions so I definitely like that. Next up. I'm going to check out the online brushes available on the site and let's see if I can find something useful to paint with. This definitely looks like something interesting. So I'm going to download this one and also download the official Ibis Pentex custom brush as well.
both of the brushes are mixer brushes as you can see the rainbow colors at the left side that is pretty great I'm going to turn the brush type to mono and then paint. When we get to the point to blend, I'm going to use the mixer brush as in the custom brush they have provided. I have recorded that process so I'll see what the blending segment after a quick speed painting. Okay, so I am back again and let's see how the blending works with this brush. If you are not familiar with my blending technique, you can always check them out. There are plenty of tutorial videos available on my channel. So for you, I have added the card of the playlist, so make sure to check that out. I must admit that it worked pretty well for me. Everything was blending smoothly as I like. But there was one little problem. The colors were turning out muddy or really desaturated at some parts. So to fix that, I had to change the brush to mono from water once again. Now I'm going to proceed to the next segment that is the new filters. But before that, enjoy the rest of the speed bend.
so we're at the last segment aka the filters first i will show you how the bloom filter works you can see that i am on the skin layer right now so i will go to effects now then choose bloom from artistic section oh my that's really blinding but no worries we can definitely fix the intensity by changing the area brightness and strength it is actually really useful as you can see the highlightings are soft it's not too extreme you can see the changes i have made with this now i'm going to show you how to work with cross filter i will apply this on the jewelry first we will take a new layer above the jewelry layer we need to change the layer mode to add then as you can see i am drawing several white parts randomly on the jewelry you will see the reason very soon Now that I'm done with drawing all the white parts, we have to go to the artistic section once again. Then click on cross filter. Boom, we have the glowing look. Isn't that so pretty? I love this function as well. I can tell you that I'm going to use this feature a lot, a lot because I absolutely love sparkle. Like before, we can also change the strength, brightness and the area of the glow. This actually lagged a lot, probably because of the higher canvas settings. We have finally reached at the very last part of the new features, the God Rays filter. It's actually made to add the sunlight effect but I have used it differently and you will see how I made it happen. So first I'm going to draw a rough outline of the art. The layer mode is add but even if you don't change the mode, it's going to automatically turn into add layer later on. We need to go to the style section, then click on God Rays. As you can see, it's looking like a magical aura surrounding her. And I absolutely love that effect. So I'm just going to keep it that way. Unfortunately, this part also lagged. This is the first time I'm experiencing lagging on my iPad. So probably it's because of the higher resolution. So from next time, I'm just going to stick with HD screen. So that is all for all the new features of IP Spentex version 9. But don't go anywhere because you haven't seen the final product yet. And as I promised, I will show you the reference so you guys can compare. Final result coming in 3, 2, 1. Why am I being so dramatic today? I'm just excited and happy with the result. So I hope you can understand my excitement as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and the process. Hopefully this will be helpful for exploring the new version. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.